Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I am Pretty Paper Craft 67. And today's video is my very first design team project for Witchcraft Do You Do? Uh, lovely Carrie reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in joining her design team. And it came as a complete surprise, but yes, I um, graciously accepted. And... Um, and yeah, here we are. Do I've done my I'm, I'm doing my first um, project for witchcraft. Do you do? So thank you so much, Carrie, um, for giving me this amazing opportunity. It's just really wonderful to work with with these printables. So the the, um, the digital kit that I've chosen tonight to work with is the slides um, kit slide set number three. I will link all the kits below. Um, that I use in the video but I love this kit um, because I love working with um, specimen slides I have been doing a lot with them just of late and I just think they're such fun little projects to do but this particular kit um, it comes with a full page of butterflies and those colors are just beautiful very vibrant lots of purples and blues and, and teals and aquas and yeah, lovely, lovely colours. So you get a full page of butterflies. You get um, a page of like specimen labels and then the word specimen. So they're really handy for your embellishing. And then there is uh, five, I think, one, two, three, four, five pages of slides in a couple of different designs. Um, and yeah, I love the colours of these. They're very vintage, very grungy looking. So beautiful and they um they do cut quite easily i fussy cut mine but i guess if you had a scan and cut you might be able to cut them out with that type of thing so yeah so that's the specimen slides um Rini has done a tutorial on this over at the witchcraft do you do uh youtube channel and i'll link that below as well so i, I dashed on over there <clears throat> and I had a look at how Rini put them together and that's what we're going to do tonight is put Rini's idea together but I just sort of wanted to try something a little different with specimen cards so I put this one together this little flip accordion book and I've used quite a few elements from different kits to put this together um, yeah, I just really love the way that it's turned out. I've attached it all, attached it all with some little brass, um, oh, what are they called? Split rings, little jewellery making split rings. And yeah, it just kind of flips out and folds out. So on the cover page, I've used elements from the slides kit. I've also used elements from the April freebie. And then the date here is from the vintage bits and pieces kit number or set number two so I've just sort of you know used bit, bits and pieces from all of the kits that I have or these particular kits that I've mentioned and just put this little booklet together so again you've got the butterfly from the April freebie and the background behind the oval is the um, April freebie and then you've got the slides um, kit with the little specimen label and the little word and then on this one here, again, you've got your freebie, April freebie. And this number sequence here comes from um, the Fabrics Label kit set. Set number one. I'm sorry, I've got notes off to the side because it's a few kits and I'm still getting used to that. I've done some hand stamping around the edges of the frames. Um, and this one here, I've, just, I've put the tab section facing downwards and I've just attached... A little um, metal Tim Holtz saying and a little ticket taggy thing that I've just dyed and, and stamped a number on. And then it kind of flips over this way. And so these little paper dolls are from the Vintage Bits and Pieces kit set um, number two. And again, background is from the um, April Freebie, Moments in Time. That's, um, I believe that's from the Vintage Bits and Pieces as well. Then we've got one of the little butterflies from the slides kit and again background from the freebie and then it kind of flips this way some more of the butterflies from the slide kit and, and the um little specimen labels and things 
<clears throat> the backgrounds here are also from the freebie kit where um, I used it in quite an unconventional way. So the, at the freebie kit, I haven't got a second set printed, but it's got lots of ephemera pieces, but I've just used those ephemera pieces as my backgrounds. Sewing a little button on there. Again, um, a vintage lady from the um, vintage bits and pieces. And yeah, it just slides out from there. So all these paper dolls are all from the Vintage Bits and Pieces kit. This little bunch of tickets here are from the fabric labels. So is the number eight, the April freebie. And where are we at? I think we've seen the whole lot. So <clears throat> you can fold in and out any way you want it to. It could also look, if you if you um, did all your specimen cards in the in the right order, what a cool wall hanging could that be? I love this idea, I really do. And I'm, I'm very addicted to flip books and accordion books and all that sort of thing at the moment. So, yeah, and then it just sort of folds up on itself. <laughs> I still get confused. Kind of, sort of, just like that. So, yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it. So I will list all those kits all the um digi kits down below in the description box and i'll link to Rini's Rini's youtube video on doing the specimen cards but i have worked a little bit ahead of time i have cut from the pages um assorted frames and because i want that sewing element i've just gone ahead and i've cut them out fussy cut them out and i've inked all around them and i have sewn on the machine just around the frames front and back so yeah just I, I can't do these sorts of things on camera because I just don't have the room here at this little area that I film so I've just worked ahead of time and it'll save a bit of time on camera as well so I've got four frames there ready to go and I also cut fussy cut some of the butterflies uh, where's that butterfly page gone I'll find it. Here it is. So I've gone ahead and I fussy cut some of the butterflies and I've done them back from the front. So I've got I've cut two, stuck them together, and then I've run those through the laminator. So and I inked them before I put them through. So basically what we're going to do, I'm going to pick a um a slide and we're just going to basically cut the laminate laminate, the laminating sheet to size and glue it all together and then I'll do some decorating with those with the um, labels so I'll just bring those out put them there all right so I'm just going to basically cut a section from this piece and I don't want it the full width so I'm kind of going to cut it from there to there and down to about there and then my table is squeaking <clears throat> oh, I bet you I can't see those markings now. So I'm just going to cut. I hope that's not too shiny on screen. Cut it there. And cut it down there. And we'll see how we go. And it's still way too big. So yeah, it's just a bit of guesswork. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll just, oh no, it's not. We're way off there. So about there to there, a little bit off the top. I hope I haven't cut that too short now. Oh no, that'll work well. It's just that little bit down that side there. So I'm just eyeballing. You could measure it precisely if that was what you wanted to do. Just like that. And then all I'm going to do, I'm going to cut each one out for each slide. And I've got front to back there. I've sewn around both the front and the back. So I'll just pop them to the side while I cut out the rest. Let's grab one of these. I like that shape. That's really nice. Okay, so I'm going to cut it, I might do it this way, cut it up there, and then we're going to cut it kind of along there, and check 
that, see what that's like, and then kind of cut it down there, like that sort of thing. Isn't that pretty? It's going to look really pretty. So that's those two. I'll just put that to the side. Um, I don't know what that noise is. I hope you. I hope that's not annoying. I've laminated one too many butterflies, but that will certainly come in handy because I've still got a whole stack of them to do. So I'm going to take this one. So that goes with that one, and then the last one here. Let's see how we go. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. So I'll take that one up a bit more there. And I'll take a little bit off the top. Take a bit off this side as well. Probably an easier way to do this would have been to just stick the frame straight down on the laminate and then cut around the laminate. All right, so I think I've cut that one too short. Well, maybe not. All right, so what I'm going to do now, and I am going to use... Oh, this is a bit this is a bit tricky because you don't want something you don't want a glue that's going to mark up the laminate because then you'll see it anyway let's see how we go so I'm going to use this fabric glue this Helma stuff because I think it's excellent and I'm just going to run a little bit just around that stitching area just to keep it in place like that and then I'm going to try and center that butterfly just like that. I should have something down on my mat because I bet you it's gluey, yes. Just like that. Um, what if I need a bit of that? And then I am going to take the other frame and I'm going to put glue everywhere on the other frame. And I'm going to lay that straight down over the top. Now, if there are little bits of white showing, you can trim that up. They do, they do match up really nicely, but it's just when you fussy cut, sometimes you go out of the lines a bit. So you can trim that to size, or you can just go around it with a bit of ink. There's just a bit of laminate there that I'm going to trim off. Get like that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I'm just going to use a bit of ink and go around these white areas. I wanted to sew before I stuck them together only because I have tried to sew laminate on my machine in the past and it doesn't like it. So... I have already inked, but I'm just going to ink around. There is a little bit of white. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love it. So you've got a purple butterfly on that side and a pink one on that side. So I'll put that one aside. So I'll do the next one. I'm just going to do it exactly the same way. Put some glue around. Not a lot on this one. That. 
sent him a butterfly. Oh, the strand of glue right there. Sent him a butterfly. And then grab the next frame. Or slide, not frame. <laughs> and place it straight down over the top. That is gorgeous. I love it. So you've got pink on this side and a maroon one on that side. And then I'll just again go around. That is a bit excess there. But um, the ink will cover it up. And there's just a little bit. Oh, I love those. They're gorgeous. All right, now I'll do this one here. Some glue. <sighs> Center it up. That butterfly itself is a bit crooked. Oh, look, does it really matter? I don't think so. And then grab our next frame. Stick them together. Now what I have just realised that I didn't do, that I wanted to do, was to stamp, hand stamp a bit around these um, frames or, or slides, but <clears throat> we can still do that, I think. Yeah, they're cool. Very nice. Nice. So we've got yellow tones on that side and pink on that side. Beautiful. And our very last one, the blue butterfly. <clears throat> and again, just put a bit of glue. Beautiful. And a bit of ink. Oh, I really like those. 
All right, so now we'll do a little bit of hand stamping. I've just, I really like this stamp. It is a Stampin' Up stamp, and I really don't even know what set it came from anymore because uh, that's the only one I've got left. I might have even just bought it as a single, to be honest. I don't know. But I'm just going to sort of just stamp in different areas with this one. And on the back as well. Just really randomly. Just like that. Just to give it a little bit of patterning. I'm going to do that on all four. Beautiful for a botanical journal. And there. I am going to cover, I am going to put the labels on, so a bit of that stuff there. So that will cover up some of the patterning, but yeah. And a bit onto this side. So yeah, I've got, I did, um, on this one, I did a various, I did this stamping and then I had some, um, some script and then I had some, um, numbers and stuff. But yeah, I'll just stick with this one for these. such a messy crafter <laughs> and I've run out of baby wipes and take some of it off I hope that's coming up on camera Sort of thing. I like it. As I said, I will be putting some labels on them, so it will cover some of it up. But yeah, I like I like this stamp. So that's that part done. And they come together pretty quickly. Put that ink away. And then we've got these labels. And they're just, um, yeah, like, like you would find on a specimen label. It's like the name and where it was found and the date that it was found and the number. Um, I don't know what any of those things mean. So I'm just going to, in my mind, think, well, they're all butterflies. And we're just going to cut some out and stick some on. I have already used some from here for that first project. Oh, 
All right, so we need four. Four. We should do another four on the back too. So we could do that. I'm just going to give them a bit of ink. I'm sorry, I'll go quiet. <laughs> and how is everyone? I hope everyone is having, having a lovely week so far. It's just been um, work per usual in my household. So, but I'm not complaining, the weather is beautiful. I'm loving it. All right, so I'm going to stick each one of these labels down on this front, se se front section. I want to just try and avoid getting my strings in the glue. So, just that kind of thing. Oops, the sewing is a little bit in the way, but I don't really want to cover it up if I can avoid it. So, we'll see how we go. So just a bit of glue. Pull that out the way. And I'm just going to kind of level that up eyeballing it just that kind of thing oh they're so sweet i love them love them love them and this one here just like that one glue all over my fingers but you know me and glue we're a messy team <laughs> put that one down there and then this last one Like about there. All right, now I want to use the word specimen somewhere. I'm just going to cut off a bunch of those and decide where we're going to put those. I've also got some um, of the labels from the vintage bits and pieces, the dates and so forth. So we might even use some of those. I'm just going to cut four, but I don't know that I'll use all four. Okay, so that's my four. That's rubbish. And I'll just grab, I've got them off to the side here. <clears throat> this set of um, tickets, numbers, there's dates. Uh, oh, I love it. And it's all different colours, so I might use some of those as well. So, again... I was in, I was playing yesterday with the accordion book and <laughs> I had such inky fingers by the end of the day. My fingernails are actually stained. Okay, so I really like this sort of thing and I just don't know. I think what I might do with the specimen is put one of them here. So that's like unique. And not, not unique, that's um kind of where you would expect it to go. So I'm going to do those on the two with the little tabs, like that. And then these two, they're both pink. Well, what have we got on this side? We've got the maroon, I like the pink. What's on the side of this one? The yellow is pretty too. Anyway, we'll just stick with this side for now. So I'm going to pick something from the pink section. So I'll just cut into that.
And of course, the one I want is right down the end. Okay. I'm just probably off camera a little bit at the moment just while I cut this. Okay, so I think I like that one there. I just don't know where I want to put it. Put it there. It might be a bit might be a bit big. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cut this one. And I'm going to cut a series of numbers off. So I'm going to cut that pretty much in half like that. Because I think that look, could look really cool right there. Or could it look... I don't even mind it there. Might do that. That's my two specimen. And then on this one here, I really like this. I just like this series of numbers. I wonder if I did put them, put it up there. So let's do that. So we'll give this one a bit of ink. Like that. Then we'll give this one a bit of ink. And we'll get the glue going. All right, so this one first so just a little bit because I don't want it spilling out everywhere and I'm just going to pop that one oh I'm shocking with glue I really am <laughs> I'm just going to pop that one straight in that middle section there like that like that and then oh, I've got glue over just excuse me while I clean my fingers oh shocking all right, we'll pop this little one here. Bring that one in. I really like it there. So from the back, you'll see a white section. We'll have to marry up a number or something on the back. So to cover that up. I'll oh, put that one there. And then we want to put these two specimens down. Just like that. That one's done, and then we've got this last specimen. And again, just there like that. Oh, I love those. They're so cool. Look at that. And then again for the back, I would probably cut some more numbers. Uh, sorry, labels to put there, and I need something to cover that up. I bet you that piece is too small. Oh no, look at that. That'll work. Let's do that. Okay, this is where a pair of tweezers. Oh, look at that. Stuck to my finger. A pair of tweezers would be great. Anyway, oh, that's great! I love that. Look at that. It's got a bit of glue there somewhere. That's cool. And then we need a label. So I've got four more here. The income. Number four. <clears throat> okay, I will stick those down so. They could look lovely, obviously, lovely inside of a botanical style journal. You could also make them into um, pockets, 
in your journal. They're lovely to stick in a pocket, but you could make them a pocket, a little tuck spot on a page. You could um, punch a hole and make them a tag. You could um, make another flip book with them just like this by attaching them with um, split rings. Or like I said, oh, they could make, they would make gorgeous um, wall hangings. If you were to punch your holes in the bottom and hang them like that kind of thing down like that that could look really really cool as a wall hanging too I, I always think outside of the box for things like that what else could I do with it <laughs> okay that one which will pop on there and then our last one here I love them. All right, we'll shut the glue down. And again, with tickets and things, again, I probably would put specimen on there and then some other, uh, some more tickets. I even would like to um, punch an eyelet somewhere, maybe. That could be really cool. Punch an eyelet in there. Um, punch a hole and, and attach them all to a ring binder as a... Um, not a ring binder, uh, yeah, one of those binder rings, and it could be um, like a bunch of tags. Really lovely. All right, so we've got traditional slide cards, the way that you would expect them to look, and then we've got a little book, a little um, flip book with portraits, some butterflies, beautiful vintage photographs, Lots of sewing, lots of ticket um, collages. So yeah, you these slides are a really nice size too. So the sky's the limit. You could um, do all sorts of things with them. You could and, and and putting them together in different. Now I've got to work out how to do it again. <laughs> That's my front cover, like that. Yeah. So there you go. So thank you very very much. Um, Kerry, Rini and Anne for um, inviting me to join your get your design team. I am absolutely stoked. So I will list all the kits below. I will list um, Rini's video and um, Witchcraft Do You Do website, their online store. And you will see me again soon with um, another video, another um, design team project because the ideas are flowing. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope everyone is well. Stay safe, and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.